So my name is Roxanne Darbusse. I am an instructor in pediatrics at Harvard Medical School and Boston Children's Hospital in Boston, Massachusetts. And the title of my project is Platelets are Driver of Neutrophilic Extracellular Traps in Systemic Sclerosis. So next, let's have you talk a little bit about um, why this research project is so exciting for people who are living with scleroderma. So as we know, Scleroderma is a disabling autoimmune disease characterized by excessive scarring and progressive loss of organ functions. The mechanisms that drive this process remain poorly understood, and recent studies have shown that two kinds of blood cells called platelets and neutrophils are activated. However, we don't know yet what is the precise role of these two blood cells. My work is indeed to look at these two blood cells. And I found that in scleroderma, neutrophils are activated and possess the capacity to promote fibrosis, which is the scarring process. I also find that platelets are activated and can in turn uh, activate the neutrophils and drive the formation of neutrophil extracellular traps by neutrophils, which, are in, which is important for this scarring process. And ultimately, understanding how platelet and neutrophils can synergize and potentiate scleroderma would be very important to find potential new targets in the disease. What would you say is a particularly innovative aspect of this project? My preliminary studies have identified new ways by which activated platelets can potentiate the neutrophil functions. And we observe that the platelet can release mitochondria that will be uptaken by neutrophils. Mitochondria are organelles in the cells that provide energy. And we show that this enhance energy um, factors for the neutrophils is important for the activation process. My studies also identify a protein on a platelet surface that when we inhibit it, can reduce platelet activation and in turn, the neutrophil activation and the fibrosis. So here, by my preliminary studies, we identify potentially two new targets, which are the mitochondria, and the, these proteins on platelet surface that can uh, lead to uh, develop potentially new treatment option for patients in need. So when you think about kind of the overall importance of this project and kind of as you're wrapping this up in two or three years, how do you see this work impacting the field of scleroderma? Well, previous studies uh, performed by other scientists already show that platelets and neutrophils are activated during scleroderma. However, because their role is still unknown, um, working in this area can be extremely useful for uh, the field. Um, I use various animal models. So I have accumulated evidence that those two cell types are involved in fibrosis, and this will help develop new potential targets for patients with scleroderma. So what got you interested in scleroderma research? I have been intrigued by scleroderma for many years, even before I started working on it. It's such a challenging disease by its diversity, and I really want to understand more on what can trigger the disease and find new treatment options. So this is a an exciting project and builds on obviously some work that you've done um, before. As you look into the future, what do you see yourself working on like 10 years from now? I would obviously like to continue my research on sclerodama. The ultimate goal for me is to have my own lab and uh, being an independent researcher. And the platelets and neutrophils in scleroderma for me is as really as potentials. There are many unanswered questions on these two cell types involvement in scleroderma that can keep me going for a lifetime. So in 10 years, I will still like to continue this way. What do you feel like has been some of your most impactful research that you've done so far? 
So my current work on sclerodama is for me uh, the best work I have done. Um, it's my own research project that I created from the start. I am responsible for the research design, performing the experiment, applying for funding, and establishing new collaboration. This is very exciting and it's certainly challenging. Uh, but as a scientist, I have grown a lot in the past few years. I have also observed exciting uh, new phenomena, such as the mitochondria transfer between the platelets and the neutrophils. And uh, this process is extremely fascinating um, and novel. So as you think about kind of the field of scleroderma and you're, you're um, kind of focusing in that area, what do you think are some of the most promising research directions right now? Really, the neutrophil aspect of my project um, is for me the most interesting. Uh, peop people in the field of scleroderma, when we talk about neutrophils, is not really something that um, is obvious. Neutrophils are more involved in humidity and uh, fighting infections. And in Scleroderma, they have been long time ignored. So for me, it's bringing something new to the table in uh, Scleroderma. And uh, it's really exciting. Okay, so some people hate this question, but if you had um, unlimited resources, what problem would you want to solve? Well, if I if I have unlimited resources, first, I would like to create a center for scleroderma. We really need more center for scleroderma where we have uh, involvement of clinicians, researchers, but also patients that can tell their experience and um, we can bring together um, specific treatment, but also individual treatment. Um, I think we need to bring more awareness on the disease and um, this type of center can uh, really make an impact. So the biggest challenge I had so far is probably uh, the lack of funding. As Cleodama is a rare, rare disease, um, funding can be also difficult to get. And in particular for a researcher like me that are non-US citizen, where our eligibility criteria for most funding are very limited and decreased, I think um, that for me is the number one uh, in the list. Then the second uh, challenge I had so far is finding um, volunteer patients to give uh, biological samples that can include blood or um, biopsy, tissue biopsy. Um, as researchers that work primarily with mice, I also um, need patient sample to validate my research and make it relevant and moving forward in my questions. And uh, I am fortunate that I've been able to um, recruit patients for blood samples, but we are always in need. And um, this is extremely important for uh, researchers. So for those patients that already donate, I'm very thankful for that. And I'm hoping that listening this interview, um, other patients will be interested in um, donating uh, for research. I hope you enjoyed learning more about the important work being supported through our peer-reviewed research grants program. We're incredibly grateful to our team of investigators for the work they do to discover the cause, understand the mechanism, and overcome scleroderma forever. The National Scleroderma Foundation is the leading nonprofit supporter of peer-reviewed research in the country. Since our founding in 1998, the foundation has committed over $30 million to scleroderma research. The need to accelerate the pace of discovery in scleroderma is urgent, and we're proud of our leadership role in advancing scientific innovation. Our program prioritizes scientific merit and provides funding for both early career and established investigators. By leveraging the integrity of the peer review process, we can ensure that we are supporting the most impactful science in the scleroderma research community. And when you invest in the foundation's research program, you can ensure that your resources are being carefully stewarded every step of the way. 
Thank you for your support of our research programs and thank you to our investigators for making a difference in the lives of people living with scleroderma.